guys what is up and welcome back to another call of duty mobile video now in this video we're taking a look at the brand new patch notes for the upcoming season season 4 or season 5 whatever you want to say the fourth battle boss and the fifth rank season so whatever you want to say this is going to be the upcoming update in just a few days so it's going to be a pretty important video so i hope all of you are excited because this is going to cover everything that you need to know for the brand new update in just a few days but before we hop into the video i do want to remind all of you that my giveaway is coming to an end at the end of this week and it is for 2000 card points so if you want 2000 card points all you have to do is firstly subscribe to my channel secondly turn on post notifications and then thirdly leave a comment with your in-game name or your email address so i can contact you if you do win but anyway let's hop right into this video so these patch notes do come from Garena, and I see they're referring to the brand new season as season 4, but I did see that the global version was referring to it as season 5, so I'm not too sure what they do mean. Like I said, I think they mean season 5 battle pass and season 4 ranked rewards. But anyways, let's hop right into it. So first, they started off by saying soldiers, we will soon release a new version, an up and coming update March 26, 2020. And then they basically just say, we recommend that you download the latest version on your Play Store or App Store to experience new gameplay. The next information is about rank mode. Basically what it says is latest season ranking mode ranked. Season four rank mode will start from April 2020 to June 2020. So we still have a couple of days of rank mode. So if you are still grinding like me, you can reach to where you want to. I believe it will end at the end of this month. So what they say over here is new season season ranked fashion prize the theme of the new weapons and equipment is going to be industrial revolution i have posted a couple of videos about this already is now present for the ranking season 4 including an epic man of war for multiplayer and an epic ruin character for battle royale so pretty cool two pretty cool rewards another paid gun is going to be free now all you have to do is grind for it improved playing experience in ranking mode improved image and particle effects in detail from ranked multiplayer mode and they say improved score revenue rules in multiplayer mode the rating is determined by the player's performance this is very very good because i find in a lot of games the person that does the best should not lose as much as the people that do bad that's my opinion because i kind of feel like a lot of people are punished for no reason let's say you get like 20 kills and you get like five deaths and there's like three guys in your team that get like one or two kills you're being penalized for them playing badly so i kind of agree with this a lot next they say improved matchmaking rules matchmaking is now more trying to find players with the skills that are closer to players like you so i'm pretty happy with that as well because i find a lot of games i'm playing against people that are higher than me or a little bit lower than me so i kind of agree with that again actually i do agree with that again now there's also going to be some map changes basically in ranked multiplayer mode scrapyard will be deleted temporarily and replaced with meltdown meltdown map is available in the bomb mission domination and team deathmatch modes so bomb mission is probably going to be s and d and they also say increased xp rank earnings in barrel mode reducing xp rank penalties for players of good performance and i'm really happy that they're doing this because again i feel like if you do good you should not be punished depending on if you win or lose just my opinion so i am very happy about that and then regarding scrapyard being removed from ranked i actually enjoyed scrapyard a lot i know a lot of people didn't so it's a good move from them and that is going to be replaced with meltdown i really enjoyed the map meltdown so i'm pretty hyped about that as well and that is all for ranked now moving on to multiplayer we have a couple of new modes so firstly new mode gun game team fight it's basically gun game but now you're in a team pretty cool i did get to play this in the beta and i actually really really enjoy it so basically kill enemies or do two assists to increase the progress of your weapon achieve the highest progress and kill the enemy with a knife or be the first team to reach 60 kills to win this mode it's a lot of fun i really enjoy it and i like it. it's like a new take on gun game that i've never seen before so i'm a very big fan of this the next mode is 2v2 showdown mode and this does come from the brand new modern warfare game on console and i think this is the best mode for modern warfare so i'm very happy they have brought this to mobile basically what this is there's two players aside so two people in your team and two people in their team so it's 2v2 and then what 
what you do is you fight together against the other team and the weapons are determined by the system and they keep changing every two rounds. Be the first to eliminate two opponents or capture territory if you enter extra time to win the match. The first team to get six wins will be declared victorious. There is no respawn and HP regeneration in this mode. So it's a very fun mode, very fast paced and I'm super hyped this is going to be in Call of Duty Mobile. Now moving into optimization, the limited time mode prop hunt will now have two rounds instead of three and players can now also join the middle of a game while still in the first round. Now also, practice mode versus AI. This mode will not bring other players into the mode anymore. Now you can use this mode to try everything you want because previously people would just come in there and end it off as quickly as possible. So you couldn't practice, it was just basically bursting bots and see who could drop a nuke. It was very pointless, but now you can actually go in there and actually go ahead and practice versus AI. Then frontline mode and practice versus AI, the duration of like the invincibility will change to 4 seconds instead of 10 seconds, I'm pretty happy about that. Also a brand new gun is being added to gun game, I have no idea what that is but I'm pretty hyped for that. And then also sniper only mode, the sniper rifle scope will be changed to the default scope instead of the ACOG scope, so I'm pretty happy about that as well. Just something interesting, you can now become an easter egg in prop hunt when the easter celebration event does come around. So pretty interesting, kind of funny, and you know, I want to see how that's going to work. So I'm pretty hyped for the Easter egg event in Proban, whatever you want to say, kind of cool over there. The next part of the article is about the brand new map, Meltdown from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Basically all they say over here is Meltdown is available in the bomb mission, domination, team deathmatch, sniper only, gun game, team fight, gun game, and free for all. So seven total modes. They also say fighting in the middle of a nuclear power plant, this is currently the new multiple map in Call of Duty Mobile so I'm super hyped for Meltdown and I will say I did play this map on the beta and it looked absolutely stunning so I'm very hyped about that. Now this next part of the article kind of has me a little bit worried. Shock RC can only be obtained from the Battle Pass Steel Legion price. The Shock RC will search for nearby enemies and shock them to stop their movements. But this can only be obtained in the battle pass. Is it going to be in the free battle pass or the paid battle pass? But overall, the shock RC is kind of useless. So I don't really care too much. But I really don't hope this is just going to be in the battle pass. And free to play players cannot pick this up. So I hope this is going to be a grindable skin in the free battle pass. Or just an event. And not just in like the paid battle pass. But like I said guys, RC shock is pretty damn useless. But now moving on to the weapon adjustments. Firstly, the S36 is going to be nerfed. Reduce stability and added horizontal recoil for the S36. Pretty happy about that. I felt like the S36 is pretty damn overpowered in multiplayer. Then we go on to reduction in speed of firing LMG weapons types when moving. Not too sure why they did that. And then also reduce stability and melee damage for the MSMC. So the MSMC is getting nerfed. Then also melee damage reduction for the Type 25. And then they have this weird thing over here. Added flinch effect when shot by the Locust, the DLQ-33, and the Arctic-50 weapons. I am pretty curious to see how that's going to play when it does come to the game. Now onto the ASM-10, it is going to be buffed, significantly improved stability and shooting ranges for the ASM-10, so I'm very happy about that. I feel like the ASM-10 is very, very underrated. Now the LK-24 is going to be nerfed, the shooting range is going to be reduced, so I'm pretty upset about that. But then I do have some more bad news for all the LK-24 users, it is going to be reduced in its shooting range so I'm pretty upset about that but there is some good news both the BK and the ICR are getting buffed some added shooting ranges to both of those guns are going to be happening so I'm pretty hyped about that and then finally there's going to be increased stability for the AK and the Man of War so I'm pretty happy about that because the Man of War is going to be free and also the AK is going to be in the battle pass so I'm very very happy about that now moving on to Battle Royale, a brand new mode, First Person Warfare. So First Person Warfare, join the 2020 Warfare mode where you can only use views from the first person. This mode will only be available temporarily. Keep an eye out on our social media for the opening date of this mode. Then we have Easter Eggs. When Easter does start, there's going to be changes to the circus area of the Battle Royale map. Don't forget to break the Easter Egg inside the isolated folder later. Now I have no idea what that does mean. It does sound like a brand new in-game event for Easter and Battle Royale, but I am not gonna get myself overhyped like the last time and then just be disappointed when the game mode does actually come to the game. 
And then also two new guns are being added to Battle Royale. First, the UL736 LMG is being added, and we're also getting a new shotgun, the HS2126, is also being added to Battle Royale. Now, neither of these two guns I've used a lot of, so I'm pretty excited to see how they're gonna play in Battle Royale. And then some very good news, we can now finally use the Lava Axe and the baseball bat in Battle Royale. I think we've been asking for that for a very, very long time, and they're finally allowing us to do so, so I'm very hyped for that. So that is about everything you need to know about the brand new update coming in just a few days. Please let me know what you think is gonna be good and what you think is gonna be bad. Are you hyped or are you kinda like, eh, I'm not too sure. I'm super hyped and I can't wait. So anyway guys, that's gonna be the entire video and I hope all of you enjoyed it. But anyways, squally out, have a kick ass day and cheers, bye.